Journalist Tim Bauer, in a book on the royal family, presented the backstage of Meghan Markle's meeting with friends of Prince Harry at the beginning of their relationship. The actress was to openly rebuke her beloved's friends for indiscriminate jokes and apparently made an exceptionally bad impression on them. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, after moving to the U.S., seem to enjoy even more interest than during the times of their duties in the royal family. Although the prince and the former actress have been married for four years and are raising two children together, reports still occasionally appear in the media about the beginning of their relationship. Recently, the love story of Harry and Meghan has been studied by a certain Tom Bauer. A British journalist has just published a book with the encouraging title Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors. In the publication, Bauer described the backstage of Meghan's first meeting with the prince's friends. In 2016, shortly after reports of the relationship between Harry and Meghan Markle saw the light of day, the prince invited the new bride to the estate in Sandringham. During the trip to the royal residence, the couple were also reportedly accompanied by 16 friends of Prince Harry, mainly his from the time of studying at the prestigious Eton boarding school, working in international banks or auction houses. After obtaining permission from Elizabeth II, the Queen's grandson invited friends for the weekend. On Friday, the whole group would have dinner together, go hunting the next day, and sit down to lunch on Sunday. According to the author of the book, Harry looked forward to the crazy and well-drunk weekend in the company of his buddies. Unfortunately, not everything went according to plan in the end. The prince's guests did not avoid indiscriminate jokes, which his beloved did not particularly like. Not only that, Meghan was supposed to make it clear to the rest of the crowd that their sense of humor hits her worldview. Like the rest of the hunting weekends, Harry looked forward to endless banter, jokes, and lots of alcohol. He did not predict Meghan's reaction. Their jokes about sexism, feminism, and transgender people ricocheted around lounges and dining rooms. Meghan did not hesitate to question the opinion of any guest whose conversations violated her values, we read in an excerpt from Bauer's book, quoted by The Times. According to a British journalist, Markle admonished the guests when any of them made the slightest inappropriate comment and gave no one a discount. As we can read in the book, Harry's friends decided that his new bride had no sense of humor and eagerly talked about the future Duchess after leaving Sandringham. Not only that, friends of the Prince, after spending the weekend with Markle, even considered him a complete madman. She lacked any sense of humor. On the way home from Sunday lunch, messages rang between the cars, OMG, Harry must be pretty fucked up, says the author of the book. The British journalist in his book also described Harry and Meghan's joint trip to the wedding of his close friend Tom Inskip in 2017. According to Bauer, Markle was to arrive in Montego Bay, Jamaica in a friend's private jet, while Harry was flying premium class from London. According to the author, during the three-day party Meghan was supposed to act like a princess, refused to interact with her partner's friends and complained about food. Do you think that over time Meghan Markle became convinced by friends of Prince Harry, 